Uh, they had snorkel lessons, and as I speak, there's people out there snorkeling. I went walking the beach. Ralph says, I'm just going to lay down for a minute. If you'll listen, you'll hear the snoring in the background. Anyway, um, I just walked the beach, and uh, uh, th this is not a beach for shells. I found five minute shells. It's, it's not, it's, it's kind of a, like a, a black, blackish sand beach. But maybe on the other side of the island, when we get over there, maybe we'll find something over there. When we were in town, Ralph chose some material in one shop. Then we got, took the material to another shop, and he got measured, and he's going to have a shirt made. Okay, the material cost $4, and the sewing cost $7, which is $11. And in United States money, that totals up to $7. So you can't already beat that. So he'll have a new, and let's see, they said, well, they gave plenty of time. They got three days' time. But if he'd have said, quick, quick, he could have got it tomorrow morning if he needed to get, get, get going someplace, you know. And Ralphie's getting to love the teas. Oh, he likes the teas because every time the tea comes, you always see the plates of homemade cake and cookies there and the homemade sugar cookies, like those old-fashioned things that you never see anymore. They have that. So we're here, and we're enjoying it. The breeze is coming through like a gale. It's really nice really nice and the people are so nice and the people around here and the people that we meet in town and talk to everyone is very nice they told us to speak to the people first because being elder hostels and being older people they don't speak to us they have respect and just look down at the ground when he, when we're coming so if we speak to them all we have to say is bula which is hello, and then they come up and they smile and bula, you know, and then that's your chance. Then you say, how are you, or do you live here, or whatever, and then you have a emanated conversation getting started there, because they'll talk to you, but uh, they don't instigate the first words, you know, he, and he wanted to impress on us that, so that we wouldn't think that these people were... Uh, didn't want to talk to us because we were foreigners, you know, that they are friendly people. So, anyway, it's good. Well, I'll talk to you again another time. See you later. Fijian music and we've been listening to that all afternoon it was wonderful well here I am again okay um, I wanted to tell you that the, we are on um, Leti Livu uh, no 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 we are not on that we are on Vanu Livu uh, when when Ralph and I came here the last time, 20 years ago, we were on Leti Livu, which is the mainland. That's the big island, and, and that's where we went and spent time there. Now this time, this island looks almost as large as that, not quite, but it, it's the, um, called a Vanu Livu, which is an, means another big <laughs> island. <laughs> so that's where we are now. So we get to see both of them. You know, this is, this is really nice. Now, um, oh, I wanted to tell you, we don't have any bugs here. We don't have any mosquitoes. There's no flies around. There's no bugs, you know. We're looking around for bugs to see. Nothing. It's wonderful. And it's br maybe it's because of the breeze that it keeps blowing and, and uh, uh, that the, these little insects don't get to stay. I mean, they told us to bring bug stuff with 
we never used it. Uh, the elder household in Fiji that we're on is sponsored by the Anglican Church, and uh, there seems to be a lot of missionaries came here at one time or another from Tonga, and you have the Anglican, and and you have the Methodist, and you have the Catholics, and uh, they're saturated, and everybody goes to church, and everybody has a nice education. <laughs>